Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be continuing on with the um, living room like transformation. So if you um, did not watch my after the holidays decorate with me video here in my living room, then you missed out on a lot. So you need to go check that out. I will have a playlist link down below, but here in the living room, we have added in our secretary. We also got a new rug. Um, and I had mentioned several projects that we were wanting to do in that video. Also, if you hear anything in the background, Theo is here. What do you say hi? What do you say hi? Look. Say hello. What do you think? Hi. We have him down here in his little chair because um, John and I just brought in a big piece of furniture and um, didn't want him to get in the way. So anyway, let's get out of this chair. So anyways, um, as I was saying, going to be filming all of this clearly. <laughs> Say hello. What do you think? <laughs> um, anyways, so I had mentioned in that video that I was wanting to redo the entryway wall in our living room. And um, he was going to like build a bench. We were going to put some baskets down there, like build like little cubbies basically for our shoes and just like clean it up the area a lot more. And the other day when I was thrifting, I found a piece that is perfect for like the bench concept with the baskets. So let me flip you around and show you what it looks like. It was literally a steal. $18 is what I paid for this thing. And um, it's perfect. So let me show you. All right. So this is the piece that I thrifted. I will pop up the picture somewhere that um, has my inspiration on it, but this is, I mean, I cannot believe <laughs> it's literally perfect. So I clearly need to paint it and um, show it a little more love, but the basket situation is going to be great. So I'm just going to put baskets in each of these cubbies. Ideally, I wanted five, um, like whenever he was going to build the bench, but that just didn't work out. So anyways, we settled for this one. Um, but I just think it's great. Like we're going to end up selling the hall tree. Clearly we have tons of shoes down there. So we're gonna grab some baskets, put it in those cubbies. This is going to be gone. And then um, we're going to be creating like a gallery wall up here. I'm gonna be painting the shiplap. So I also have some sample paint um, that we're gonna be trying out today in today's video. And I am super excited. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, Look at the paint and I can talk some more details on my idea for the space. So it is actually a few days later now from the last time I explained all of this, but we're getting ready to finally test out the paint colors. We have three different ones. They're all just like creamy neutral colors. Okay, so I'm just going to paint a little section like right here, just paint like three little boards or something that we can compare. I'm going to start with my lightest color and work my way to my darkest. This is called Dove Wings from um, the Dutch Boy line. So, let's go ahead and give this a shot. a shot. Yes, the boys are here watching me and they're very intrigued. So, this is what the color looks like. You wanna see it? Ooh, you think it's pretty? Yeah, oh. but that looks like white color. Yeah, it's kind of like a whitish gray. All right, so let's test it out right here. I only have one brush currently, so I'm gonna have to wash this one in between, but. So the next one is kind of like a medium color and it is called Bear Titanium again by Dutch Boy. Let's see if we can get this open. And this one is just more on the taupe side, but it's super pretty. What do you think? Oh, that looks so pretty. That was super pretty? What do you think? Yeah, but kind of like a little bit pretty. Just a little bit pretty or a lot pretty? A little bit pretty. Okay. <laughs>
All right, last but not least, this one is called Fossil Wood. Fossil Wood? Fossil Wood. Like a fossil in the wood. Yep. <laughs> and again, Dutch Boy. We always go with Dutch Boy paint. So it is the next day. We have slept on the three colors that we tested yesterday and we decided to scratch all of them. <laughs> so um, I really like the first one. John didn't because it blended too much with the love seat, which I do agree. Um, so we're gonna nix that one. And then the other two is just not the color scheme we're going for. We're looking for more grays, like warmer grays. And those were more of like taupes. And that's kind of what we're just not wanting to do that. So. We're gonna go ahead and take all of this down, move the bench over, take everything off the wall and get um, a little more inspo and um, just kind of a feel for what the final product will look like. And we do have two new colors that we are going to be testing out today, um, or at least one of them. We're stuck between two colors, so I will pop pictures up here. One of them is called Lightroom Gray by Pharaoh and Ball. So I know you can like color match and whatnot whenever you go to um, hardware stores and stuff. So we're gonna try to do that. That's the first one. It's more of a lighter gray still, um, which is what I was wanting to do, just kind of have that vibe. And then we found conduit gray, which is also very, very pretty. And it's kind of a middle ground for both of us. And it also adds a little more color in as well. So that's the plan, but well, let's go ahead and take all this down and um, we'll kind of rearrange and see how this is going to, like the final layout will look like. So obviously this is a really large wall. I feel like it doesn't look as big on camera, but it's definitely a big statement. So we want to be able to do this correctly. Um, I, like I had said before, so we have this, this is going to be our like entryway bench. We'll put baskets under there and um, that'll just have our shoes. So it really just cleans up this area a lot, which is the goal because as you guys can tell, we have tons of shoes and um, I don't know, I just, it just looks very cluttered. So I'm gonna clean that up. And then ideally, I would like to have 
six hooks like all along this wall so i like the idea of having like a big basket with some greenery in it or something like that kind of to break up just like the wall <laughs> so add a little bit of decor on there that's something that you can change out you know seasonally or however often you want to do it and then the top part here i want to have a gallery wall and i mentioned to you guys i've showed you the frames i've been collecting and whatnot and um yeah so that's kind of the concept here just a very like relaxed wall but it has a statement it's getting used up whereas before i felt like we just kind of filled it just to fill it <laughs> we didn't really have like a purpose for it and this gives it more of a purpose all the way out and um it also just makes it feel bigger in here by taking away the hall tree and adding in this area so i still have to find baskets ideally i would love to thrift them you guys know I try to thrift everything. I love doing that. But because we need three of the exact same basket um, to just, you know, fit the preference that we're going for, I'm more than likely going to have to buy them new. Um, so that will be a little bit more expensive just because these will need to be larger baskets and baskets are not cheap. So I have some in mind at Hobby Lobby. So one day soon, I plan to go there and um, track some down. I still need to like measure and whatnot before I buy them. And then the hooks are pretty inexpensive. You can get uh, like a pack of 10 on Amazon for pretty cheap. So, um, and then like I said, the frames were inexpensive because I've been thrifting those. And then the wall art, I just have to print off because I've already bought the actual PDF file. And don't forget, we're also painting the wall with the buffet on there. So um, we'll be able to get like a final look today once we pick out the paint on that specific wall. But this one, we're just gonna have to gradually continue the process. So. I think I also mentioned to you guys that we're wanting to do kind of like that monochromatic effect. So we're going to be painting the bench the same color as the wall. I know that's not everyone's preference, but we really like that look. And we also already have like a lot of bold furniture in here. So we don't really feel like that's necessary over here considering we're already going to like be filling up this entire wall. I think it'll just be a lighter feel, but still fit the vibe of the room and be cohesive with everything else that we're gonna be putting on the top. Okay, so I have my phone pulled up here and I wanna show you guys some of the black hooks that I like from Amazon. So the first one here, these are these um, rustic entryway hooks. There's a 12 pack and they are only like basically $13. They're $12.88 on sale. They're originally $16.88. And oddly enough, these are the same ones that we have on our little entryway wall, like over here. Um, they're plenty big enough. I think they would look good on this wall also. And I like the idea of having the same kind of hooks, obviously. Otherwise, we'll have to change out all of them, and I don't really want to do that. So that's what these look like. They come in a 12-pack, 16-pack. Oh, they also have a 6-pack. That's actually what I need, and that's under $10. So maybe we can do that instead that's kind of what I have in mind but I just think it'll look so pretty also I just sold the hall tree <laughs> I took pictures of it posted on Facebook and someone claimed it um, real quick so they just picked it up and it is out of here so that is gone thankfully that is one of the things I love doing I've said this on my channel over and over and over that I love to sell things that I don't want and replace them with things that um, I do want so sold the hall tree um automatically already got my money back for this piece because this was only $18 I ended up selling the hall tree for 75 so that was a good price in my opinion there was like nothing wrong with it it was in great condition um it's literally just sat here and held our belongings for several years now but that pretty much takes care of almost this entire wall which is wonderful so Anyways, little tip and hack for you guys. Sell the things you don't want and use that money for things that you do want and try to accomplish. And that's what we're doing here. But um, yeah, John is on his way home from the hardware store. He has the paint. I cannot wait to start painting this wall. I am so excited. I also want to show you guys. So I already took the um, candle sconces down. As you guys can tell, those are down. I wanted to move them in a little closer. They were just too far out. I mentioned that in another video, like the gap between the mirror and this is where the candle sconce was, was just too big. So I'm going to um, fill those holes in and then we can scoot that in a little more. But this wall is gonna be painted as well and I think it'll look so pretty with the black buffet and just all of the like, I don't know, earthy toned and natural elements that I have on top. I think that'll look really nice. Alright, John is back with the paint and we ended up going with lamp room 
by Faro and Ball, and we just got the, um, it's in the, is that the Bear brand that we have? Yeah, so we got it in the Bear brand, um, they just color matched it. So, that's what we're going with. It's kind of hard to tell on camera, but it has more, uh, cool tones to it, and kind of has more of like a bluish undertone, which we personally like, and I think that that will go really nicely with the rug, kind of pull out the blues in this a little more since we do have a lot of like neutrals in here. But you guys can tell. So that was the one from yesterday, the top color. This is what we're going with. So we're just gonna roll with it, see what happens. days later now I apologize that this video is so like broken into multiple days but it's just the reality of um, our life currently so anyways but yes we have this whole wall painted the other wall is all painted as well but I'm still on the hunt for baskets and um, I did order the hooks I already received them all of that but I wanted to show you what this wall looks like so far so this is going to be part one of this video I absolutely love the gray. I feel like this is the best angle where you can see like the difference between the gray and the white um, trim there. And then also the buffet. The buffet pops out so much better. So does the mirror and the black sconces as well. So we're gonna go ahead and get this styled. I cannot wait to show you guys what all of these pieces right here are going to look like. So I'm still going to be using my thrifted lamp my little stool there with the plant. I have like all of these plants and stuff that we're going to be adding. And yeah, so here's a sneak peek of this wall so far. It all turned out really well. I still have to paint this piece of furniture and get the baskets, but everything else I have. So in part two, we are going to be spending so much time picking out prints. We're going to be spending time um, hanging the wall up, like truly like decorating this whole wall. So I'm very excited, but for now, we are going to go ahead and decorate this one. And I am so pumped, so let's get to it. So we are going to be playing with like a lot of scale on this buffet, and I'm very excited. So I have my thrift lamp here. If you guys have not seen it, I found this entire lamp for only $8, which is insane. So the shade is pleated, I don't know if you guys can tell that. Um, it's pleated, it is ivory, and then the actual like lamp itself is kind of like, I don't know, kind of like a ceramic, I guess, but it has that pottery look to it, which I love. So we're gonna go ahead, place this over here because I do have an outlet down here. I don't know if you guys can tell that in the camera or not. Anyway, it's down here. So what I like to do to try to hide my cord is like tuck it behind the buffet. So I'm gonna go ahead, tuck as much of it as I can down here. So that way you just like you can't see it at all i hate like when a ton of cords are showing it just looks i don't know looks kind of sloppy <laughs> so i try to fix that as much as i can but anyways so the cord is tucked so we can go ahead and turn this on possibly okay and then next i want to go ahead and hide the outlet as well so we're going to be taking this little wooden bench this one right here and this faux plant. So this bench, um, both of these were secondhand to me. My mom had this made for her house. It didn't end up working at her house, so she gave it to me. And then this plant, she was actually not using this season, so I'm borrowing it for now. But it looks like this was originally from Target in the threshold line. I have no clue when she bought this. But we're just gonna go ahead and tuck this right here. 
and pop the plant on there. So it kind of finishes off that look, hides the outlet, and then we can move on to the rest of this table. So let me go ahead and move you guys around and we'll decorate that part too. I wanna go ahead and start like next to the lamp, then we will work our way through the rest of the buffet. So I have a few pieces of landscape art. Um, or this is more like a still life this is a landscape art but they are so pretty i love how they look like when they are um kind of like i don't want to say stacked but like layered together i guess so this one here this is just a thrifted frame that i found for a dollar at renew and um if you guys don't know that's my local thrift store that i work at every week if you haven't watched my last video i took you guys with me on a wednesday i work there every single wednesday and um anyways long story short i thrift there and i style all of it in a designated section for the simplistic home but sometimes if um i find anything that would work for my home i take it home this is one of those pieces that i brought home was the frame so it was only a dollar and then i printed off um this picture here from a bundle of vintage prints that I found on Etsy. I'll have that link down below if you guys are interested. But anyways, so I'm just gonna be placing this here, kind of layering it in front of the mirror as well. And I like the contrast between the two different like wood tones. And then I'm gonna be taking this little like brass, kind of bronzy frame here. And it just has a landscape art piece in there as well. And we're going to be styling it in front just to give it that layered look that i really like okay so there's that next we're going to be moving towards the middle here i'm going to keep it pretty simple but still that layered look to continue on with the rest of the buffet okay so for this area right here i am going to be taking these two old books so these came from a vintage market over the f like in the fall i think um yeah so i think i spent like ten dollars for both of these and then i have a little gold coaster i found these in a set at home goods and then to stack on top of the coaster i have a little battery operated candle I just turn on the bottom there and it has a subtle glow i really like that at night so we're just going to be stacking these right here and i think that looks really pretty and kind of just like again flows really naturally on the rest of the space and then over here we're going to be putting something a little bit larger and um let me show you what that is okay so finishing off the rest of this space i have a large book box i think i have like remotes or something in there currently but yes i got this book box from hobby lobby these are super inexpensive when you get them half off like when the tabletop decor is half off so i'm just going to be playing that there that has like you know, like I said, remotes and stuff, so it's good for storage, but I also like the pattern. It adds a little bit more just like, I don't know, texture and like I said, pattern and stuff. So it gives it a little more depth and interest rather than just being like all like solid colors and textures and whatnot. And then to place on top of that, I'm going to be taking my favorite little black vase here. I shouldn't say little, it's actually a decent size, <laughs> but um, my little black vase and just going to be popping it here on top and then i have these cedar stems that i love i keep these out like all winter long i even had these out during christmas and whatnot and i really like them so i'm going to be layering those in there that way they have a more realistic look and like a natural flow to them so i have that and then i felt like we were missing something over here again i like that layered look so i have another plant that i'm going to be incorporating and um, let me grab that real quick so this is what the plant looks like it is like dried sedum it is um, actually a plant that i have growing outside i have two garden beds on either side of our doorway and um, in the winter time they dry and they turn into like this really pretty like rust brown color so all i did was literally clip some off i don't know if you guys can see there um just clip some off stuck them in here to give it a like rounded look to kind of complement the round base here but again still has like that natural flow to it because again these are real so they are natural but i found this antique um, vessel here this actually well i shouldn't say it's antique i found it at an antique store but it's originally from target this was also threshold i believe um, yeah, originally $15. I only spent $6 on it at the antique store, so it was a really good find. But I'm just going to layer that right in here to give it a more complete look. And then next up, and last but not least, are our candlesticks. I love these so much, so let's go ahead and pop those in now too. 
so this is what the candlestick looks like it just has a little button i've had these for like i don't know a couple of years at least and um battery operated i love them i always have them linked below in my amazon storefront so if you guys are interested i have an affiliate link down there anything you purchase from my amazon storefront i do get a small commission so i do appreciate if you purchase from it but if not i totally understand um, but yes yeah, so these will be in there what i like to do with these is simply pop them in my little um candle sconces and uh i think it just gives a really pretty glow especially at night so there you have it i think the glow from the lamp the candle sconces and then also once it's like actually dark in here when the lights are down and whatnot this little candle here glows pretty well kind of hard to show up right now because of the lamp light but i love how this turned out i really really love the gray i think it just makes it so much softer in here i cannot wait to finish the other wall and show you guys just like I don't know i like a room tour of the living room i'm so excited so if you guys are looking forward to part two it is definitely going to be more in depth with the decorating i feel like today's video was more so the diy portion and just talking plans and what we're going to be doing and choosing colors and whatnot but either way it's still really fun i like these vlog style videos and i hope you guys do too but Thank you guys so much for being here today. Um, I appreciate you so much here on my channel. We are off to a good start in 2024 on my channel and um, I really do appreciate it. It's been a lot of new faces within the last like week. So I officially just reached 18K and I'm so grateful. I have been on YouTube for four years now this month actually. And um, it wasn't until like spring of 2022 when I really started like taking it seriously and had like a direction for my channel. So I don't know this year I'm still going to be continuing with the thrifting and the decorating and the DIYs and all of that but I love doing it in vlog form I feel like it's so much more personal and um, I feel like I'm much more personable <laughs> to you guys and I really like that so typically in my old videos you guys would not see me like in sweats in a sock hat with no makeup <laughs> but here we are and um, I'm really enjoying it so Anyways, thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you are new. I would love to have you. And definitely hit that bell notification. That way you're notified every time I post. Like I said, this is only part one of the whole living room transformation, living room makeover, if you will. We're getting so much closer for this room to feel like, I don't know, the final result of how we've always wanted it to be like. So anyways, thank you guys so much for being here. And I will see you all in my next video. Hope you guys have a great day. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.